Everybody knows about Ellis Island, but do you know about Philadelphia? 1.3 million people entered the U.S. between 1850 and 1945 through the port of Philadelphia. We're doing a week-long workshop for primarily middle and high school teachers called Becoming U.S. The Immigrant Experience Through Primary Sources. During this week, you'll get to hear from historians about waves of immigration as they came in, primarily through Pennsylvania and out to the rest of the country, and also a chance to explore uh, archival material at our place, as well as learning about materials that are available through the National Museum of American Jewish History and the Heinz History Center of Pittsburgh. I think one of the really unique parts of our program is not just that we're going to cover content, hopefully a lot of new content for people, or that you're going to uh, get to even work with primary sources, but the fact that we're also going to couple that with thinking about innovative ways to present that material in the classroom. You'll be learning about uh, how in this country uh, there are continual waves of immigrants coming from usually different sections of the world at different times. and the rather similar experiences they each have when they arrive and are new to this country, and then how eventually that group becomes assimilated more into mainstream culture, uh, and then the next wave arrives. Do you teach immigration now? Do you feel like you could use new resources? Do you want ways to really get students to engage meaningfully with that subject? And in this day and age, are you looking for ways to take contemporary events and provide historic context? Because that's what we really hope you'll walk away with, is a way in which to contextualize uh, students' worlds.